Section 5.2, now we get down to the nitty gritty of how, having to solve our inequalities first. So we learned about graphing them yesterday. Today we're going to talk about solving them and then graphing our answers. So for this one, it's pretty simple to solve an inequality. You solve it just like you solve an equation. There's only one small difference, and we haven't gotten to it yet. When we do, that's when I'll go over what the difference is. Until then, we're going to work it just like we do a normal equation. So I have to add 5 to both sides. All that's extra room for nothing. So that gives me y is less than or equal to 0. So when I go to graph it, there's only one number I need to worry about. That's my 0. Less than or equal to, does that mean that it's included or not included? It's included, so that means it gets the dark circle, not the open one. And I shade in the direction that it points because my letter's on the left-hand side. So I'm going to shade this way. simple piece of cake. Draw your line just like normal. So here I'm going to draw my line just like normal. First thing I'm supposed to do is move my letters because I don't have any. I do have some fractions I could get rid of, but I think I'm getting ready to take care of them when I move my letters, so I'm not going to stress it. So when I move my letters, I subtract 2 and 1 fourth x. When I subtract 2 and 1 fourth x from 3 and 1 fourth x, that just leaves me with 1x. So, see, so took care of itself. Minus 6 and a 1 on that side. So now I need to add 6 to both sides. Get x. Use the exact same thing that was up there. Nothing changed. Just like over here, I use the exact same one that was up there. And then 1 plus 6 is 7. So there are two numbers I have to put down here. I always put down my zero, and then my seven can be over here somewhere. We don't care how far over it is. You're telling me it's seven, I'm a happy girl. So, does it get an open circle or a closed circle? Open, and do I shade to the left or to the right? Shade to the right, because it points to the right. piece of cake. No problem. Two more examples. Problem number 14. Obviously, my examples are getting a little bit more complex. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my line. Then I need to get rid of my parentheses. So 6x plus 9 equals 5x plus 5. Then I always want my letter on the left hand side, so I'm going to move it from over here to over here. That makes that one go away. It leaves me with a 5 over there and an x plus 9 over here. Subtract 9 from both sides and we end up with x is using the same sign negative 4. So I got a 0, and this time negative 4 is over here. Open circle or closed circle? 
closed circle because it's got that line underneath it. To the left or to the right? To the right because it points to the right. Doesn't have to be really thick or really dark as long as I could tell which way it was shaded, we're all good. Number Combining like terms over here, one half plus one and one half is just two plus three t gives me eight and a half plus two t. Now I need to subtract my two t's. That gives me two plus t. I'm doing stuff in my head before I get to do it on here. Oops. Eight and a half. Now I'm going to subtract two. So T, exact same sign, less than or equal to six and a half. Got my zero over here somewhere. Six and a half. No, you don't have to make it into an improper fraction if you don't want to. It's fine with me if you do. If you call it 13 over t, I mean 13 over 2, that's fine. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. It'll be in the same spot. It's not going to change anything. No, you don't have to put the 6 and 7 around it so that I can see that it's halfway in between the two. I'd rather you not. Just go ahead and write the number down and be done with it. Closed circle or open circle? Close. To the left or to the right? To the left. Make sure you shade it in. That's it for this section. I know you're thinking, does that mean you don't have any homework? Is that great? But now you have homework. You actually have more homework in this section than you did in the last one. We're talking about page 192. Classwork. Practice exercises. 2 through 14 even. Eight problems. You can handle it. Homework. Practice exercises. 1 through 15 odd. Another eight problems. You can handle it. You'll see me tomorrow.